our topic, breasts and sexuality. Now we'll focus on augmentation. It seems like we're bombarded with images of sexy women with large breasts. But what do you do if you don't fit that image? And what do you do if you want to avoid surgery? There are a lot of enhancement options out there, but do they really work? To explain them all to us from the Encino Outpatient Surgery Center is plastic surgeon Dr. Malcolm Lessavoy. Welcome and thanks for being here. Jennifer, hi and thank you for being hi, here. Jennifer. We work together at UCLA also, so we're really lucky to have him here. Well, let's move now into the more invasive options for women that are not satisfied with their breasts. Obviously the breast implants, saline and silicone. Uh, so essentially there are three different ways of um, of putting these implants in, uh, either from an incision underneath the crease of the breast, uh, through an incision around the nipple and areola, or through the armpit. And there is a difference whether you put it directly under the skin or directly under the muscle. Is yes, that and, and uh, that, is, that is one thing that uh, is still a little controversial. Um, the whole point is, is that um, if here is the breast and the breast gland, and here are the ribs, like so, and the muscle is like so. So the muscle only comes down to about the level of the nipple and areola. I personally prefer to put the implant in front of the muscle because it gives a much more natural augmentation and shape. Uh, some surgeons uh, put it behind the muscle. Actually, uh, I'd say maybe 50-50, put it behind What's the muscle. What's the advantage of one versus the other? Well, I personally uh, feel that there's disadvantages to putting it behind the muscle because it gives too much stuff above and for that reason gives sometimes an artificial appearance and huh. you can tell who's had an implant and who has not. Uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you're walking down the beach and you're wearing a nice bikini and somebody says, oh, she's had her breast done, that, in my opinion, defeats the purpose.